everyone, welcome to Wreck This Journal number 12. We made it to a dozen! So let's have a donut party in the comment section below. Leave a donut emoji and your favorite kind of donut to eat. Mine is usually double chocolate with chocolate sprinkles, which is kind of strange because I don't really like plain chocolate bars or plain chocolate ice cream. But chocolate donuts and cake and brownies, delicious. Thumbs up if you like dessert. There better be 10,000 of you. I know there are. If you're new to my channel and you have not yet seen my Wreck This Journal series, I will link that playlist below so you can click it and go get caught up. So in this video, I'm of course gonna be decorating a few more pages in my journal, but I'm also going to be showing you a little sneak peek of the new Wreck This Journal in color. So stay tuned for about the middle of the video and I'll show you an unboxing and some of the pages in here. But now without further ado, let's wrap. First, I am going to be decorating another random page. Today, I am doing the title page of the book, and I am going to be using markers for this, which you guys sometimes ask which markers I use in my videos. Usually, almost always, Crayola Super Tips, which are super affordable and super vibrant, and no, this is not an ad for them. I genuinely just love the product. What I was going for here is some sort of doodly, pop arty, colorful page. So every time I open my journal, I am just instantly filled with happiness and I want to get more creative and fill the book with more colors. No, seriously though. So I'm filling this page with a lot of cuteness and little things that represent my life. Pandas, I just recently started watching cute panda videos. If you guys have not seen them climbing trees and falling out of the branches, it's kind of sad, but also they don't get hurt. But yeah, pandas are adorable. Shooting stars are beautiful. I did the outlines for all the doodles with a black micron pen and then you want to let that ink dry a little bit so it doesn't smudge even though I kind of accidentally had some of mine smudge but it's okay. And then yeah, you'll just fill in the colors with the marker or whatever else you're using. I don't really eat candy but it makes the page look even sweeter. No pun intended. Well actually yes it was. Leo. You all know that I had to add a bow to the page. Also, there's a cute cupcake and a strawberry because strawberries are my favorite fruit along with raspberries. I like basically all fruits, actually. After completing all the main doodles, I went in and filled in the background with a bunch of random designs. So in the corner, I did some dots. They kind of look like grapes. I didn't even think of that. So it's fitting that they're next to the strawberry. And then I just did a ton of lines and circular shapes, flowers, and dots. I alternated between color and black and white, and I also did zigzags, as you can see. Wow, this voiceover, I'm a little bit rusty. I uh, am getting back into the swing of YouTube. I'm so happy to be back, though, by the way. I've missed you guys. I haven't been posting twice a week lately, and it's been driving me crazy, but I was traveling, and then 4th of July weekend. Yeah. I'm just so excited to get back on track. Wreck This Journal will probably be every other week because this video did take a mega long time to create. I wanted it to be great for you guys, but it's just not realistic to be able to keep up with this every single week and another DIY. Hopefully you guys understand. I'm sorry if I'm disappointing anyone. Now moving on to the tape page. I did this side, I think in my first Wreck This Journal video. Uh, if you guys haven't seen that, it's linked below as I said at the beginning. But I'm going to do the other page today because I want every single page in the journal to be full of greatness and not just blank. I got out my duct tape for this and I used a pair of non-stick scissors to cut around the patterns and, you know, get the little sticker pieces basically out. You could also use an X-Acto knife and cut around the shapes that way, but I feel like for me that would take longer and would look a little bit more crinkly and not straight so it's up to you so on the very right hand side my zigzag pattern was vertical and I'm also doing a vertical line on this page but the rest of the pattern is going to be horizontal just to give a little bit of contrast I thought these flowers would be cool and act as really abstract whimsical like dream like waves so this is fake water basically like in a dream sequence then I have the giant rubber duck swimming and the little tiny whales i think it's super surreal because normally in real life the duck would be a lot smaller than them and then i have the selfie cat taking a photo of them which is totally ridiculous but it works 
Then I just filled it in with a few more pattern pieces. Honestly, I did want to fill the entire page, but nothing was working for the rest of it. it I think it looks perfect the way it is, but I do want to add some sort of quote on top here in this blank area. I don't know exactly which quote to add yet, so I'm just going to stop here. But if you guys have suggestions, I want to write it in black. Possibly I could cut the letters out of duct tape if I'm feeling up to it, but I think black marker, I don't know. Kind of reminds me of Alice in Wonderland a little. Next, we're doing another page that I did half of in the past. This is the cover of the page using only office supplies. You can see I already used a lot of sticky notes and highlighters and some staples. But today, since back to school is coming, I'm sorry if you guys are going back to school. I never liked going back to school. For this, I'm using pizza sticky notes, candy shaped highlighters, and crayons that I actually created. If you haven't seen these videos, I will link them below. They are Cheetos and Twizzlers shaped crayons. First, I just glued the pizza sticky notes down because they're not sticky enough to stay stuck on their own and I put some scattered around. Then since pizza is so amazing, I found it fitting to add something equally amazing, which is rainbows. So I'm doing kind of like a starburst doodle with the crayons. I'm starting with orange and I'm making a little squiggly burst around the half pizza and then I'm putting little lines around the pizza slices, as you can see. And it's actually pretty easy to color with these. I finished with yellow and then I'm taking the yellow candy highlighter which looks like lime green but inside it's yellow and I'm just making little hearts because pizza is love. Oh my gosh that's so lame. But no, I, th I thought that the hearts would kind of play off of the big pink heart on the opposite page. Comment your favorite pizza toppings below. Mine is pineapple and mushroom and if you guys give me crap for liking pineapple on pizza, I don't even care. I'm still gonna like it and I'm still gonna eat it all the time. It's delicious. Now it is time for Wreck This Journal Ink Color color. The Penguin Book Publishing Company was nice enough to reach out to me, so I did get this for free, but they're not paying me anything to create this video. Just a disclaimer, now it's time to open. It says my name on it. One, two, three. I'm gonna spill everything. I'm trying to... The first thing in here is a page that says the instructions and it's very, very similar to the one that is in this edition that I have that is upside down. See, here's the instruction page. I haven't painted over it yet. Everything is the same except for number six, which says that there are special color pages that you can use to help you with the book. Here's a book. I really like the cover of this and it says the revolution is now in color. Before I open the book, I want to show you guys the little goodies that they sent me in the box. Confetti. A pack of Trident Bubblegum, a little baby bottle of Elmer's Glue, a roll of Scotch Tape, a pack of eight Crayola crayons, a pencil that is already sharpened, thank you. Sharpening is such a pain. A comb so I can tease my hair some more. No, I'm sure there's some little prompts in the book like painting with a comb or something. And a pair of grippy scissors. That's everything that was in here. Now let's get into looking at the pages in the book. This folds out and there's some little prompts on here like place your coffee mug and that one is cut holes to make little peep holes for your eyes. There are some new prompts in here that you've never seen before in the other Wreck This Journal editions. This one says cover the entire page red. Color, but you know, cover. Ooh, look, the pages are completely in color. This is the poke holes in this page. Oh, oh, oh. P -p -poker face, p poker face. And then here we have draw fat and thin lines, which I just recently did. This page here says to tear strips of color. There are colored pages in the back. So you can cut these up and glue them on to decorate certain pages in here. There's a pink page and the paper chain is in color. Okay, so I had to decorate some pages from this new book. I knew you guys would be asking if I didn't and be like, why didn't you actually show us anything? Here, this is the fold and cut with scissors and unfold page. Wow, that you could read. But anyway, I just folded the page a few times and then I took the scissors that they gave to me and I cut some little triangular shapes out. And at this point it was a little bit hard to cut because there were so many layers of paper there, but I got it. And 
then I unfolded it and I actually did a couple more cuts off camera because I wanted there to be like rectangles at the top. Then I took some of the cutouts and I flipped them over and glued them on so the white would be showing instead of the red. I thought that gave a little bit more personality to the page and really brought it together. I didn't like that you could see the words through so I took a rainbowy piece of scrapbook paper that I had and I glued it behind so you could see the colors through. And it felt so good to not be as careful since this isn't my main journal. I like this reckless feeling. Next page, I did let the colors run. And here I'm just using some soap colorant, which you can get from the soap making section of a craft store such as Michael's, which is where I get mine. But you could also use food coloring. You could use watered down acrylic paint. You could use watercolor paint and basically just drip it on the top of the page and let it run down, let gravity take over and yeah it didn't flow as much as i thought it would so i had to blow on it to get it to drip down even more and i got a little lightheaded then i got a straw and i used that to help me blow but by that time it was basically the last color so yeah try and blow with a straw and don't overexert your air supply i think they look kind of like wheat stalks or cotton swabs where they bled out more at the end And also this did go through a couple pages, but like I said, not concerned because I don't care if this journal gets wrecked. Finally, I took the giant mound of confetti that they gave me in the box and I'm going to cut it into little tiny, tiny, tiny pieces for this page. After trimming some down into tiny squares, I got the bottle of glue and made the outline of a heart. And Elmer's glue will stay wet for a few minutes, so don't worry about rushing to get your shapes on, but you definitely wanna cut them beforehand. All I did here was just sprinkle them on, and then I shook the book around a little to move them, the pieces of paper, into the places where the glue wasn't covered, and also a few places I put them on individually and stuck them down with my fingers if they really just wouldn't stick in that area. I think it looks really cool, a confetti, almost kind of sprinkly looking heart, very cute. I wanna know which page from this video is your absolute favorite i can't believe i did six of them it took ages so that probably won't be the case in the future but i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching remember if you enjoyed to give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment below to join the donut party because donuts i hope you guys have a great rest of the day and i'll see you very soon goodbye